Welcome to the Museum of Isabella Cohn. You're about to listen to an auditory and visual guide to the Latin wing of the museum. These are a few artifacts from Isabella's Latin class. This is a sculpture of the famous dark romanticism poet Edgar Allan Poe. This is a Republican sculpture as its face shows character. You can see all his wrinkles, his mustache, his sad, sad eyes. It shows his wisdom and age and his knowledge. It looks accurate to the uh, real Edgar Allan Poe and he looks very sober and it's more realistic, showing Poe's deep, deep darkness and sad soul, just like the male, real man was. His grim expression, his receding hairline, he doesn't have cat-like eyes like in an Etruscan art, and he has many, many wrinkles and a very impressive mustache. This next piece is a drawing of a St. Mary's student, done in the imperial style. You can tell because unlike the Republican, there are no wrinkles. She is smiling. She has hair that is perfect. There is no, no texture, there's nothing wrong with it. It's unrealistic. Also, she represents something. For the original Romans, their imperial pieces were meant to represent gods. For this one, it represents the perfect idea of what a St. Mary's student is. She has bags under her eyes, she's hardworking, she has a cross earrings, which means she's giving. You can see the parallels. This drawing is of Pegasus, the mythical creature, in the Etrus Etruscan style. As you can see, it has an expressive face, as much as a horse can have an expressive face. It's energetic and it's moving around. You can see that the horse is in motion. It has a long nose, as most horses do, and so do most people in the Etruscan style. And it also has more like archaic eyes. The eyes are smaller, more cat-like. Uh, it also is in brighter colors, and these bright hues of blue. And yeah, that's what makes it Etruscan. This is our most recent piece. It is a artistic take on Bella's wall at home, where her window is. It is kind of replicating a fresco. It's a drawing replicating a fresco. It's in the third style, or Romaine style, as it is often called. Uh, this style embraced more flat surfaces, as you can tell from the lack of anything appearing to be three-dimensional or trying to appear three-dimensional. Um, the broad monochromatic planes is visual, uh, visible through the black and the red palette of colors, and it has intricate details done in gold all around the edges, adding a little bit of bright color and flair. Thank you for listening to this journey through Isabella's artifacts of Latin class. If you stick with us, the next exhibition is about Bella's favorite books and novels. And if you stay with us even longer, there's the Hall of Teacher Fame, where all the teachers who gave good grades to Bella are forever and always honored and respected. Thanks for listening.